Whoever begins their day with a drive in one of the rare BMW 327-28 coupés can count themselves very lucky indeed. A coupé stirs emotions that are otherwise only unleashed by real sports cars. The positive energy is directly transferred to the driver. But this wasn't always the case. Like most of its contemporaries, the coupé originated from a horse-drawn carriage. At the time, a coupé was a small, closed carriage with space for two. No trace of luxury or even exclusivity. In fact, due to the limited space inside, the coupé version was significantly cheaper and in catalogues was lauded as the ideal vehicle for country doctors and salesmen. Contemporaries who traveled mostly alone and who prized mobility early on. Not until the 30s did the coupé become more significant to us. Until then, they were often one-offs which were produced to order according to exact client specifications. The time was ripe for the first BMW coupé in the modern sense. From then on, the coupé's raison d'être was no longer its cheap price, but its allure. It was always better looking than the saloon, and it matured to become a mode of transport for aficionados. In 1937, in the BMW development department, the body of the 327 Coupé was created under Rudolf Schleicher, based on the BMW 327 Cabrio. Broadly curved mudguards with integrated headlamps and partly covered rear wheels reflect the zeitgeist of the aerodynamic art of automotive construction. The kidney grille was already a BMW feature in the 30s, and together with the propeller logo, represented the typical BMW face. Real craftsmanship. Despite many rave reviews, only 265 327 and 327 28 coupes were sold between 1939 and 1941. The Autobahn, Germany's new high speed motorway, required fast cars. Especially in side view, the coupe looked fast even standing still. The whole car is adorned with countless lovingly created details. The interior exudes tastefulness, a sporty, elegant atmosphere with no fashionable knickknacks. In the 1939 BMW sales catalogue it read, the cars meet the wishes of the discerning driver who places more value on agility and uniqueness than on particular roominess. A clock is integrated into the glove compartment cover, a stylish detail. Despite the typical coupé lack of space, the BMW catalogue can't refrain from a few practical notes. The next paragraph proudly reads, An upholstered rear seat allows you to carry several passengers for a short time, otherwise the space can serve to carry large items of luggage, for which there is also a boot in the rear of the car. A split front windscreen and two small windscreen wipers were usual in 1939, Unusual, however, was the large range of engines available for the BMW 327-28 Coupé, a sporty treat. The additional designation 28 subtly indicated the origin of the inline six-cylinder from the BMW 328 racing car. With this 80 horsepower sports car engine, the 327-28 coupé cost 8,100 Reichsmarks. An Opel Capitaine Cabrio from the same period cost around half that. Even Mercedes Cabriolets with six cylinders could be had for less money at the time. 
And so customers were limited to a few male drivers who experienced a speed rush at up to 150 kilometers per hour on the Autobahn. There was also great enthusiasm for this sports coupe in the trade press. A test report from 1939 read, you can truly say that this car scoots when you put your foot down. Full of enthusiasm, it continues, Naturally, a vehicle like this is comparable to a noble racehorse. Only in the hands of a really good driver can it produce its optimum potential. The 80 horsepower 2 liter engine makes light work of driving. Its sound is a real pleasure. The small market for exclusive and expensive vehicles and the outbreak of the Second World War prevented higher quantities. Blessed is he who can call one of these rare specimens his own.